as I drink my tea, you know, what get to me is how folks can construct their own opinions and turn it to the actual fact. And that's it. We don't need to investigate it anymore because this blogger came out the woodwork to give you misinformation. We're in the generation of misinformation. You know what I mean? You got Wiz the Wizard. First of all, rest in peace to Wiz the Wizard. I'm hearing it was a beautiful funeral. They didn't let a lot of it be on social media out of respect for the family. You know what I'm saying? But Wiz the Wizard sister made a post. And I felt that post. Oh, she was 38 hot, bruh. In that post, she went deeply and talked about how a lot of y'all bloggers are capping about all this. She said for the people doing videos and the people keep calling her phone just to let her know who killed her brother, you guys need to cease and desist and just stop this. This continues spreading false information like that. She then uttered out, Kodak Black did not kill my brother. This is what Wiz the Wizard sister said. Kodak Black did not kill her brother. She's like somebody played him close. If you don't know what that means, somebody next to Wiz the Wizard set him up. Somebody close and allegedly that they know too. It's not a secret when your family member lose their life and you know they in here in these streets. It's really never a secret that you kind of can narrow it down to who did it. But you people so infatuated with this hip-hop world, your mind can only think of hip-hop. So when you see the sister, you know, telling you that, hey, I, this man ain't got nothing to do with my brother Dev, you don't even believe her or take her words into accountability. I seen a dude the other day when we did a live about it. He said, oh, where's the wizard ch uh, sisters chasing clout? And I'm sitting back like the nerve of a clown dude on the internet. This is a clown individual on the internet. We don't know this clown. He's using a, 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 I call every account a fake account if we don't know you and you don't got no picture. I call all accounts fake accounts. But using a fake account, no pictures, and then uh, using a celebrity name for his name and the nomenclatures or uh, default name. And yet, this is the clown that gets to tell real people like Wiz the Wizard's sister that she's the one clout chasing. To tell the real clout chasers to leave her brother name alone, quit spreading false information, my brother was played by somebody close. No, we shouldn't listen to her because she's a clout chaser. We should listen to clowns like him instead. This is the mindset that we have now in this culture. Kodak Black been friends with Wiz the Wizard for the last 10 years. I ain't even capping for them. They've been in pictures together. They've been in situations together that does make you close with somebody, even if you beefing with them or not. Yak was in a situation I remember years ago. Remember he had that orange jumpsuit? You know, they say he looked like old girl from Orange is Black. Oh, whatever that show was called. Well, the person that was in that vehicle as well years ago was also Wiz the Wizard. Then they show other prior videos. I mean, this is a, a strength in numbers situation, bruh. I, like, yeah, wouldn't make it so easy like that to go drop a bag on somebody like that. When you got the whole federal counterparts keeping tabs and an eye on you, bruh. This man was given a presidential pardon by you know who. And the only reason I'm not saying his name because these algorithms, you can't say nobody name no more. Or they ain't even going to let you get the views. Now, I need this get the views so we can do this traction to all you YouTubers. Some of you who try to dress like me, we ain't going to say no names. But a lot of you YouTubers wake up every day and think which fake story you're going to just take up out your four point, point of contact, which is your cheeks, bro. If you don't know what four point of contact is, it's your buttocks, bro. You guys just wake up, you dig it out, and you got this false information to share with the world. Uh, uh, information that got nothing to do pertaining to nobody. And this is the rhetoric we do on a daily, daily basis. I sit back here and I reminisce. I remembered when they played semantics like that with Pop Smoke name. They did the same thing to X. And I'm not talking about DMX, but they did it with him too. Fast forward, we got to get some real alignments here, bruh. I'm sitting back, and a monster in the room can only be one person. Not to be cliche, not to say anything negative. The monster in the room can only be the people we distinguish as the monsters in the room, which is the bloggers, is the comment sections, is the moderators. It's a lot of you people out here 
who only wake up for one thing to cause a disturbance in the atmosphere. You can see a vibe going good and you don't like it. You want to blame Yak, Kodak Black, as the culprit and a counterpart who got rid of Wiz the Wizard. His cousin Wham Spinderbin over and over been insinuating certain things to let you know they got a clear picture who off they cousin, they loved ones. And if not, they gonna narrow it down to who they think it is. Why would y'all jump out the woodwork and just say it's Yak? You don't feel like you are, let me use the words of my Chicago brethren, you don't feel like you a big goofy to do that? You don't got no type of heart to be like, let me worry about their friends, family. Some of you dudes don't even leave the crib. You don't even step out your house to go to Walmart, but you know everything that's going on. You go to this blogger channel, oh, I'm connected to such and such. I'm connected, nigga, you ain't connected to nobody. You ain't got nobody on that line but an imaginary friend that you should listen to advice when they say, hang up, clown, hang up. To take a sister's word and make it in none and invalid because you, the clown, gets to be more respected than the actual family. Man, bro, we in a different age, bro. This is why I'm not going to stop calling myself a journalist. All the professionals call me a journalist. My work goes without doubt what I put in here. Yeah, I'm going to flex for a little bit. I feel proud to know I, I get in touch with these families. I get in touch with these people. These people reach me behind the scenes. Y'all, Some of y'all got more numbers than me and don't know nobody. Some of y'all get millions of views on one video alone and you don't get end of sentence, um, pop a lot. And a lot of you, the line report, a lot of you, and it's black ones too. So this is not about a race or anything like that. It's a lot of black ones too. It's, if, it's of any color and ethnicity. It's a lot of you folks who wake up and learn how to propagate and propaganda to make money on YouTube. These social media platforms are pain. If you guys can't look around, they pain. So some dudes, they run out of ideas to be actual content creators. So looking at a sniper gang situation and seeing the death of a Wiz, the Wiz and I, I remember Spot him, got him, got hit up that day too. It's more easier for these folks to wake up and pinpoint these dudes and the beef that they got. You know what I mean? As I sip my tea gradually right quick. I just want to say, rest, rest up the Wiz, man. Long live Wiz for real, man. Yak let y'all know how he feel about funerals because during Wiz the Wizard's um, death, he lost a cousin as well. So it's like, this is the, the time that keep on ticking, bro. You're going to feel all the wrath of the back and forth that you get, bro. Karma is better suited, bro. I got family members I see now, one of them always, always on some deception type of stuff, trying to kick it up with me and hit me up about it. Um, rest in peace. So uh, I don't even want to say none of that. I don't want to talk about my family drama on here, but it's amazing how people could treat you like dirt for years and try to pretend like you the one who did them something wrong based on gossip and rumors when you've never did nothing to these people. They're just weak. They're more worried about what their friends and people would think about them to be around their own blood. And now I sit back and look at these people for the last seven to 10 years, how they faking it like I did something to them. That's why I stay away from certain people. Propaganda is best served for you to get out the way so to call that black family and where's the where's the family don't listen to these people a hurt person is always gonna find some crap to bring up and make up some weird reason in their head not to rock with you or to spread lies about you mom well, i don't want to curse bro people the, the envy in people is cancerous bro i'm gonna just put it that way or the hating people is cancerous where's the wizard man stay blessings to you man everybody involved man i'm your god bless one man hit that like button that notification bell man love your family Love your kids and stay blessed, gang.